hello everyone welcome back to real time hair creation course so let's continue with our hair cards baking and render technique in maya in our last video we have created our hair stands with the help of xn modifiers but in this video we are going to bake and export our texture maps for our hair cards so there are so many important maps to get a realistic hair texture in final game like ao map normal map depth map specular map root map direction map id map and so many things so i will teach you each and every maps how to proceed with baking and export in our texture map so for that you have to do just one thing just hit the subscribe button and i will also teach you the special technique to bake our special map which is specular map so let's find out so to bake all those texture maps you can use different software like blender maya marmoset ZBrush, but I prefer to use same software where you prepare your hair stand itself. Like we have created our hair stands in 3D Maya. So let's start with Maya and uh, hair card texture baking workflow. So before that, you have to get a good lighting setup. So for that, you can find a good lighting studio from here, hdriheaven.com. So you can check and search for good studio lighting and download it. So we will also download it, plug in into a sky dome light and I will show you the full step for the creating scene and exporting and baking maps. So one more thing, I have created a PDF notes for you guys on real time hair creation where you will get all these workflow and tips and tricks and important settings to create a realistic hair which you can use in your personal work or portfolio. So to get these notes, just drop your email ID in this Google form uh, link in the description. So now we are ready to render our maps in Maya. So let's start with first map albedo maps, which we also call it diffusion map. And this diffusion map will decide our base color of our hair. So just go to the scene and select our hair strand collection. Here we create our color hair collection and assign a new material and go to this R node and select AI standard hair material here you can see now just go to hyper shader and just delete unused hair shaders and click on this AI standard hair shaders which we just assigned and expand this to this node editor window by just clicking on this box icon here now over here on this right side you have so many options like preset color specular and many more so just start with a setup preset so there are uh, predefined shaders. Uh, this is good to start with. There are so many presets. You can choose any. So I'm going to this blonde preset. This will give me a little yellow hair shaders like this. Now here, uh, first just we are going to set our camera. So this is very important to get a, a nice render view. Just go to front view and set our frame. Now go to this render settings and click uh, on this little icon here and uh, set a render size to 4K. So we will go for 4K textures. Now set our frame and lock it. So this is very important to lock our camera because sometime by mistake it moves and displays which is not good for our baking maps. So now you can just lock your camera by pressing this lock icon. So here, uh, so this is our render view. Now go to render and see our view. Uh, yes, you can see we cannot see anything because we don't have lighting seen right now. So to create a lighting, go to R node and uh, lighting and select this sky dome light here. You can see. So uh, here is an option. It is very important and don't forget to make this camera option to zero. This will switch off the visibility of camera in sky dome light. Now just set the render view again and uh, just occupy this maximum texture space so this is very important to occupy all this texture space your texture map should be proper filled and evenly distributed so now i'm going to set our real lighting so let's go and select our sky dome light and on this attribute editor so we have this five attachment option here this kind of checkbox so click on this and select our file uh, where we download from hdi heavens uh, studio so just navigate our HDRI studio lighting file and import it. Uh, here it is. You can see now just adjust its uh, position of lighting and get a smooth lighting shaders. And we don't want any uh, sharp black shadow with uh, no highlights. You can also tweak with this intensity. So we need very smooth and very gradient lighting. Now you can see we have set and this is uh, our lighting set. I think this is good. 
Now moving on with our hair shader settings. Now go back to our hair hyper shader and uh, here you can see uh, these are the color options and uh, here is the important option called melanin. So this is very important setting for every hair material. More melanin hair means more darker the hair. So you can also tweak with these all settings like this feather option like melanin randomize and it randomize your color of a hair. So don't spend too much time just create a basic and important textures and shader. You can also change and adjust those hair texture in Photoshop or any render software which we can uh, use a different maps or different texture to diffuse into a like a bake or ID maps. So you can change your color, your base color, your texture there also. So here it's nice to create a nice color gradient from root to tip. For that just add a ramp texture here, ramp texture node here. So by clicking, uh, by pressing tab key on this node editor and now I'm writing a ramp texture and this ramp texture node I, I will connect to this melanin. There as you know more melanin means darker the hair and less melanin means lighter the hair. So I'm setting this ramp uh, root color is 0 0.4 and tip color is 0 0.2 means my root is darker and tip is little lighter in shades. So this settings I'm creating with this ramp texture. So I hope this is fine. So now I'm going to bake my first map guys. So this is albedo or diffusion map. So for that just go to this R node render window and press this play button. Yeah now you can see this is rendering. So just uh, for a fast you can select this uh, box kind of thing where you can select the area where you want to render first. So I'm just selecting and dragging this uh, square area. This is going to be a, a render on this specific area also. Now you can see we are getting some kind of noise thing here on this uh, hair stands this kind of noise. So to compress this noise just do one thing go to render settings and uh, on this uh, R node render you can increase some of these options like specular slider. You can increase this specular and uh, let little bit diffusion and this thing so this will increase the quality of your render so now go back to this render window and play again now this is fine now to save this file you can save this in .jpg or .tga file also so these are the format of our texture files so go to the file and save file so i am saving in .tga file great so we have successfully saved our first baked albedo map so all these texture are in 4K as we set up our camera resolution as a 4K. So great guys we have successfully saved our first baked albedo map. So for that so for that just subscribe this channel guys. So let's back to our maps. So our next map is AO maps ambient occlusion maps. So let's first understand this what is AO maps. So basically AO maps is a grayscale map which contains lighting information to bake in a soft edge or soft shadow edge. So it will get you help in a get a more details on the software on the surface. So to bake this AO map it's very simple. Here first you have to add uh, one background plane here. So just go to the front view and take a plane and scale it on the background of your hair strands. Now just select your background and your hair collection and just assign AI standard AO material. So we have assigned both your AO maps is ready. So just go to render view and select my front view and play render. Now you can see our AO map is baking now. So here is our air maps. Now just save this image in .tga file. That's great. So now let's move with third map is depth map. So let's understand this what is depth map. So depth map contains information about distance of object from a specific reference point uh, like your camera. So it represents the distance of pixel from your camera or your any viewer. So as a 3D representation it is very important to create a depth map. So to get those depth map just go to render settings and just go to this AOVs and here you can select this Z icon Z symbols. Now add this to this active AOVs windows and press close. Now simple go to the, our render view and here we have to change this option from beauty to my Z value. So here we go our setting is properly fit and here we have to some adjust with our display settings. So go to this setting icon and uh, go to display and now change this gamma value to 0 0.02 and uh, explore value to minus 10. 
and uh, don't forget to set this view to raw as rgb so now that's it and before saving your render image just uh, click on this mark and uh, i will show you just go to this file and open save file option and uh, click on this apply gamma and explosive option here so this is the option you have to check this mark now again just play and uh, create your depth map so this is rendering you can save your depth map in tga file but uh, our work is not done uh, till now because we have some we have to do some editing with this map in photoshop to get a perfect depth map so let's go to photoshop open our depth map now just do some uh, level correction just press ctrl i to invert so i have invert this texture and uh, ctrl l to add a level in this so just add these value here uh, these value or you can just tweak in between so you will get these kind of good depth map so i think this is fine now you can save this now moving on and get back to maya uh, now before moving further just uh, set back all our old values like gamma 1 and expose 0 and this set to uh, view to ace 0 uh, 1.0 sdr so these are the standard uh, view settings now again uncheck that apply and gamma option to in a save for file options so our maya is ready now we are going good to go with our normal map this is very important and very interesting to get our normal map in Maya so to understand this normal map it used to define our lighting bounds from our surface basically it controls the transmission between the face and reoriented dimensions so to get a normal maps just go to front view and select our background and our hair collection and assign the new material so we are going to assign a AI utility material in our node option you can see now go to this material settings and select our shade mode to flat and color mode to normal map now that's it we our render our normal map is ready now go to render view and render it make sure here is a one thing make sure the render view should be in s rock view so this setting is very important so you can see this blue normal map and with these kind of highlights so our normal map is rendering so here is an important thing to enhance or to give a specific highlights to this normal map we have to do some settings in photoshop also to enhance this normal map so just go to uh, photoshop and import this uh, normal map over here here is my first layer and i'm just going to duplicate it uh, one more time duplicate it so here we have uh, three normal maps so on this middle one select this middle one and unhide our up one and go to this channel and select this blue channel and and now change the color to gray so just uh, double click it change the color and here is the rg value so you can set this value to 128 128 and 128 in this rgb options now press ok now we have we have our gray selected now to fill this gray uh, just select this channel and press alt delete so it will flee, uh, fill the gray color here you can see now come back to our layer and set this middle layer to overlay option now go to our top layer and uh, go to this channel and uh, select this green channel here and fill it with uh, our white color now again go to this color menu and select our rgb value to 255 255 and 255 and again select this green channel and press alt delete it will fill the white color also and also you can uh, you do the same thing with this red channel also now uh, come back with the our layer menu and select this to multiply now you can see we have enhanced our normal maps so just to duplicate these group one more times uh, just to see how it looks now this is fine now so just save this normal map this is very interesting so here it is our normal map now let's move on with our direction map direction map which decide a direction of a flow of hair or a direction of lighting on mesh on object so this is very important because our character is working in a real time environment so this direction is should be very mentioned and important to understand so let's again this is very simple to get a direction map so as a normal map just select a background and hair collection and again assign a ai utility material but uh, on this material setting you have to select this collection mode to v surface derivatives v means v surface means vertical surface so now you are good just go and render it
now make sure this view render set to raw and uh, now you can see our direction map is rendering so great guys we have rendered our direction map also so now let's go with our next map which is object id map uh, this map is useful to get an indication of object separately so it define everything in a different color kind of so to get this object id just again assign this ai utility material to hair collection and uh, in this case this is very important to understand you have to hide your background we don't we don't need uh, your background in this object id map so again go to this uh, material settings and set color mode to uniform id and that's it just render and this you can see our object map id is rendering and you can save this id and uh, here is one more step with this uh, with our photoshop just go to photoshop and convert it into black and white id so just take it to photoshop and press control shift you you can see we have we have converted into a black and white so now you can go to and save your object id now just take a alpha map so to get a alpha map uh, it is very simple just go to render views render window and press on this small icon on this render view which convert it into a black and white maps so here one thing it's need to do uh, to get a only alpha map because it is a combination of all map like rgb channel so just take this to photoshop and go to these channels and uh, you can deselect all other things just select this alpha black and white channel and press ctrl a to select it and ctrl c to copy it and uh, just take it to the layers also so just back take back to the layers and uh, here i'm going to add a empty layer and i'm just control p to paste our alpha channel here so we can see we have our alpha map also so you can easily save this so this alpha channel is also very useful for the masking it define the specific area of here as a mask now with the help of this alpha channel we can also go with a specular map so this is that important points guys uh, to get a specular maps we don't need maya to generate it we have some photoshop settings so the specular map are used to design a shininess and highlights of that surface basically uh, a specular map is a black and white image kind of thing. so it shining and highlights the surface so to get a specular maps just take a alpha map and uh, just add a empty layer above it and fill with a black color so to fill up a black color is very simple in photoshop just select a black color and press alt delete so it will fill with black color layer now just add a noise on it so go to filter noise and add noise so set the noise amount to 350 or 357 uh, something okay then again uh, i'm going to add a, another filter which is blur and blur motion so here in this blur motion you have this decide the direction of a noise so we have to create it in a vertical hair stands so we set this to 90 degree and uh, distance something 20 to 25 and just press ok and i'm going to press uh, apply this option called multiply so it will multiply with our alpha map now i'm just going to add some levels to enhance or contrast our map or that you can see we are control l to to get our levels and just adjusting some values now here it is our specular map is ready now you can save it so now let's move with our last map which is root map so this is also very simple and uh, just go to background and uh, uh, select the background assign a lambert material and change its color to gray uh, over this material setting just select the color of the and change to gray and again select our hair collection and assign this to ai flat material now just look on this right side and uh, you have this color option which uh, something called black and white checkbox so just click on this and apply ramp here so here you can see we uh, we can you can select the ramp color of your root and tips so this is very interesting to create a depth or a root of your map so here you can see you can define your root darkness of node and lightness of a tips just select it and now go to our render window and render it so now guys we have all over our maps in maya so now in the next video we will learn about how to project those texture map on cards and place on character head and create a hairstyle so for that please like and subscribe this video guys because you are going to get a lots of things so for now, 
enjoy your day take care